Hey there friends, got my Mosin Nagan out here. This is an M38. This is not an original gun. Matter of fact, it's got a synthetic stock on here and one of the reasons why is because all the components that made up these, this gun here, the serial numbers don't match. So a gunsmith uh, took a bunch of parts, put them together, put a synthetic stock on there. I really like it and one of the reasons is, is kind of a little bit more modern feel to it. Uh, definitely more tactical than a typical wooden Mosin Nagant. Um, functioning, probably about the same. Sights and everything work fine. I really enjoy the Mosin Nagant, so I'm gonna shoot a couple more and let me know what you think. I really like the power behind the Mosin. Man, I really like Moses. You may recall a while back, I made a video. I said, Moses or Mo Nosen? Mosen, that's the question I'm posing. And uh, I got overwhelmed with the amount of responses. People said, yeah, go get a Mosen. You'll love it. And uh, now I have three, <laughs> and this is my third. I told you these would go up in price. What you used to get for 100 bucks is now like 250 I like the carbine models. I've got two M38s, 190, 130. But all in all, it's still the same gun. You gotta love the nice little thump it puts on your shoulder. I also love that big round 762 by 54R. Take down any game. You can tactify it, put scopes, anything you want on these things. They're just a lot of fun. And I really enjoy it. Thanks for watching. You guys be safe. Go out and get yourself a Mosin before it's too late. Not because there's a gun ban. Not saying that at all. I'm saying it might be too late because people are eating them up. They're realizing that it's a good gun. A lot of fun. Ammo doesn't cost too much. And uh, you can't beat it. Even these, these ammo pouches here really work well. No matter what kind of ammo you put in it. Thanks for watching. You guys be safe.